the company for five years. I started as a process engineer, really working on the production side. And as a, a position came open, I worked my way into sales and then sales came into managing and leading it. And so right now, what I do for the team is I lead and manage um, the overall sales team and really the customer experience. And there's been just consistent growth year over year as we've continued to really sharpen our focus, define our processes, grow our customer base, and, and really try to focus on building um, a great team and hopefully positively impacting their lives. The, the biggest challenge that we faced was, um, it was about a year and a half ago, we were trying to increase sales. And so we had a process, which was a very manual process, moving work orders through on a paper we had was not scalable. Um, because it was really manual and required a lot of like tribal knowledge. If this happens, then this has to happen. How do we get rid of some of the administrative side? How do we get some rid of some of that tribal knowledge that you just acquire after years of being here or having to make mistakes and make it more automated, simplified, and hopefully um, more accurate? Is really Hiring an administrative person to just do paperwork is non-value add but looking at it like can you can you get it out there without having to um have someone uh dedicated to that service and so that was kind of the first um reason why we looked at it like how do we make it so our salespeople can sell more yet have less administrative time and not have to add that administrative person uh yet one of the things that the team has told me the biggest benefit is just linking our emails directly to Flywheel. As we email and correspond with clients and stuff like that, it's almost creating a history log or a thread. And they've said like how much just that little change, how much time it really saved them. It just automatically did it. And it happens in the background and you don't even realize it and notice it. Like just little things like that were really what pointed it out for them. And so what we have seen is we've seen um, the ability to have more pay time. On an average, we're averaging about you know 30 minutes to an hour more uh, a day for team members right now. Lean is can and absolutely should be applied to all aspects of business. You know, how good are we at communicating um, what's gonna happen, how it's gonna happen, is the process um, relatable and understandable? Do we have the right parts and everything like that? Um, so by automating that and making it more um, present for our team to be able to pull it up and stuff like that, we should yield higher NPS scores. Automation and um, information readiness is key to that. The alternative that we looked at that we actually considered was implementing an ERP system, which is hundreds of thousands, if not, you know, you know, millions of dollars to implement it because that's the same idea of being able to do workflows mm -hmm. within an ERP system. And as we looked at what that would take to do the cost of it and no, knowing that it was going to, our process is an ever evolving thing, made it really unattractive. So that was where we can come in with something that's more customizable. And that was, that was something that was really appealing to me uh, from a price point, customizable and fit, uh, we could fit to our business model. The relationship that you guys and the, you guys working with us, the response and stuff like that, that's definitely a 10. Your guys' customer service side is a 10. Your guys' willingness and ability to kind of customize it to fit our business model is what's made it really attractive.